Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well wherever you are, but I think there's a lot of problems going on with this global IT outage. So planes are affected, trains are affected, hospitals can't do operations and other things, um, shops are finding that their IT systems are down, banks in certain places are out of action, you can't get cash out of the machines, and if you haven't got some of this, then you might be in trouble if you want to make a purchase today. But I use cash wherever I possibly can. Now, in a situation like today, cash is king. And it just shows us that we need to keep cash as an option for payment. Because this idea of going towards central bank digital currencies with digital identity just isn't going to work in a situation like today. So apparently this is something called CrowdStrike, which is related to Microsoft. You must have read about this already in the mainstream media because it's all over the mainstream. No one can deny this is happening. There are outages and problems everywhere in the electronic and digital purchasing system and sphere. So um, I've never heard of this thing, but uh, you wonder, really, something like this, which is going to be a patch on Microsoft's, what is it, virus protection software, I think it is, would have been thoroughly tested, surely, before it was released and sent out. People must have known that there was some kind of problem with this. This just doesn't happen, you know, unless there is uh, multiple levels of incompetency or somebody is has a plan to do this. And of course, we know the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab and others who are related to um, the whole globalist cabal have game planned this. They said there's going to be another pandemic coming, a cyber pandemic, and it's going to make the fake um, <laughs> nonsense of 2020. I have to watch my words carefully here. Um but it's going to make that, as they said, look like child's play. Well, th this is not a total um, down for the whole internet, but certainly significant parts of it are affected. So I'm very lucky because today I'm just at home. Um, I've got my cash. If I need to go out to the local shop and buy something, I can do that. Um, I don't need uh, to rely on digital um, currency at the moment, um, I'm not traveling anywhere today. Um, I'm sorry for you if you are. Um, you know, I, I don't have um, any sympathy, particularly for for banks and so on, who are who are accelerating down the road of digital identity and uh, central bank currencies and, uh, and ESG and all of these kind of things. But it's individual people who are going to be uh, hurt and caught up in this. So we need to do, as a world, um, a very, very abrupt about turn from going down this road towards digital currency, digital identity, and make sure, uh, as we say in the Heritage Party in the UK, that cash must legally remain an option for payment in all retail outlets, no matter what. And that includes leisure centres, that includes car parking, that includes vending machines, and anywhere where you there is a physical outlets where you could have used cash before, um, but that's gradually being removed and taken away step by step by step. It needs to stop and we need to go back to allowing people to use cash um, because in a situation like this, it shows that um, uh, the, the digital uh, world can just collapse in a second and leave us all stranded. So, very, very interesting. And that's on the back of all of the other things which have gone on this week. Like, I think this is this week has been like a, a whole decade's worth of events happening in just a few days. It, it really is quite extraordinary. And, um, you know, this doesn't usually happen in the middle of summer because people are usually away on their holidays and nothing much happens. It's the silly season where people talk about celebrity dancers and all kinds of nonsense like that that 
I don't know why anybody's interested in that whatsoever. But there you go. Um, very interesting times. We shall see what happens and uh, keep an eye on these things. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all.